In these problems, we need to find the areas of trapezoids or rhombuses or kites in the coordinate plane. Uh, and we spent some time finding the area of a rhombus by dividing it up into four triangles. And you can do the same thing with a kite. What we arrived at with the rhombus was this formula that area equals the two diagonals multiplied by each other and then divided by two. The same thing holds for the kite. Area of a kite, same as the area of a rhombus. And I'll show you exactly how that works with the triangles again. So if I draw in one of the diagonals here, what I've got then is two equivalent triangles. So these are two triangles on either side are the same. And to figure out the area of this triangle, I would need a height as well. We could call the blue line the base, and I could drop a perpendicular here to get the height. This blue line is going to be the difference in the y coordinates. 6 to negative 8, that's going to be a distance of 14. And this is going to be half of this distance here, this, this uh, altitude. Uh, so this goes from 8 to 2, so that's 6, so this is 3. So the area of this triangle is going to be 1 half times 14, which is the base, times 3, which is the height. And actually, the area of the kite is going to be two of those. So I would just multiply this by two, which would cancel out the 1 half. So this is 14 times 3, or 42 square units. So that's how this works, dividing it up into triangles. The shortcut is to just multiply the diagonals and divide by 2. Our diagonal here is 6, and this one was 14. So you'd have 6 times 14 divided by 2. You can see that's going to be exactly the same thing that's 42. A trapezoid is a little bit different. When we have a trapezoid, we think of it as having two bases. So those are the parallel sides of a trapezoid. So the two bases are the ones I've outlined in yellow here. And what we do is we add those together and divide by two, sort of like taking the average of the two bases. And then we multiply by the height. And we get the height the same way we do in other figures. We just drop a, a perpendicular. Whoa. Let's try that again. My pen went crazy there. We just drop a perpendicular from one of the vertices. So let's um, get some numbers here. The, the length of this base, the y coordinates go from 8 to negative 5, so that's 13. This one, the y coordinates go from 6 to neg negative 3, so that's 9. And our uh, height here is going to be the difference in the x coordinates. So 1 and negative 3, that's 4. So now we've got all the numbers we need. Let's start putting those in there. So 13 plus 9 divided by 2 times a height of 4. So 13 plus 9, 22 divided by 2 is 11 times 4. And that's going to equal 44 square units. So that's how to find the area of a trapezoid or a rhombus or a kite in the coordinate plane.